John Styles from the Truth at Golf Academy. And today I'd like to talk about a common complaint we hear from a lot of our pupils, and that's that they experience a lot more problems with the driver as opposed to the iron. And that's due to obviously a number of reasons, one which being the equipment, the shaft is longer, which will create more club head speed, less loft on the club face, but it also goes a lot deeper than that, it goes into the swing mechanics. And one of the reasons we believe this is so is that all of a sudden you've got something different into the equation. You have distance. If you want to take a seven iron further, you'll take a six iron. But all of a sudden with a driver, we're faced with an open-ended target where distance is a big factor. And that's actually, as I say, goes into the swing mechanics. And we'll see actually a change in how people are swinging the club. Again, this goes down to distance and it's part of the swing really important at the top of the swing. And we'll see with guys with irons, staying, swinging within themselves, maintaining a lot of the properties you had at the address position. But all of a sudden we see our pupils with the driver reaching for positions the body can't withstand. So changing angles, hip goes out, turning circle of the shoulder has changed. All numerous things, but mainly due to the almost the mental picture people have in their minds of the driver. And I want you then to try and take the swing you already have with your seven iron, and put that in place with the driver. Again, this goes down to a mental picture on the tee. Setting up, of course, there's a few differences. The ball is positioned a lot further forward. Some guys will even try and favour the right foot slightly. But we want to marry up your seven iron swing and your driver so there's less disparity. Look for the seven iron swing with your driver. Imagine you have a seven iron in your hand. I'm sure this will help you to swing within yourself.